Hi, I'm Jason Mackey, Democratic candidate for state representative of the 27th Middlesex District here in Somerville. I'm running for this office because I believe we can do more for our district, we can do more for the Commonwealth, and we can do better. I grew up in Hanover, Massachusetts, attended public elementary schools, Boston College High School, and Northeastern University. I moved to Somerville with my partner, James, in 2019 and quickly fell in love with this community. Like so many millennials, I have worked a spectrum of jobs in my life, from selling consumer electronics and coffee to helping utility companies better manage their resources. Over the last 13 years, I've leveraged my love of entrepreneurship with my passion for helping others. Most recently, I've begun raising capital to invest in the futures of women, people of color, and LGBTQ folks as they embark on their own entrepreneurial journeys. I want to speak to you now about some of the most urgent issues that I'll address if elected as our next state rep, the housing crisis, health care, and education. We need politicians who understand the urgency of the housing crisis. Like so many of my fellow Somervillians, I'm a renter. And like many of you, I know what it's like to deal with a $1,000 rent increase and subsequent eviction when I could no longer afford to stay in my home. I was lucky to find a new place to call home here in Somerville, but I'm all too aware that the upfront cost of moving in addition to steadily increasing rents is leading to the displacement of working families, many of whom are lifelong residents. Everyone deserves stable, safe housing, and we cannot let the development boom push out the very communities that are the backbone of what makes our district a great place to live. We must ensure developers build housing that is affordable to those of us without trust funds in our name. I support rent stabilization, rent control, and expanded tenant rights. The development boom should not just benefit corporate real estate interests, but it must also benefit us by increasing access to quality housing, bringing union jobs to local residents, and fostering opportunity for our small business community. The past two years have demonstrated the importance of healthcare. The pandemic is lingering on, and more residents are dealing with chronic illness than ever before. In an area with so many world-class medical institutions, it is reprehensible that many struggle to obtain preventative healthcare or quality long-term care. We must make sure our seniors and disabled residents are treated with the dignity they deserve. We must increase funding for home care providers and long-term care facilities. As a Mass Health member, I am grateful for the state's public marketplace, but I also know navigating the private insurance industry can be intimidating. And even with insurance, too many of our neighbors are drowning in medical debt. If elected, I promise to prioritize health over corporate profits and work towards Medicare for all. Now, I was lucky to have a mom who willingly worked three jobs to keep a roof over our heads and make sure I could have an education that opened a world of opportunity to me. However, no child should have to rely on luck and no mother should have to juggle three jobs to afford a first-rate education. That's why Massachusetts must prioritize providing more for its public schools. There needs to be more staff dedicated to mental health and well-being and an increase in mental health training for teachers. We also must revamp the curriculum to better prepare students for life after graduation. Financial literacy and job training are just as crucial as quality STEM and arts courses. I will prioritize funding for Somerville's advocates, like the Community Action Agency of Somerville, Teen Empowerment, and others working for a better future for all of us in Somerville. Again, these are only some of the issues facing our district, and I made the decision to run in addition to not being satisfied with our district's current representation because my lived experience has taught me that each and every one of us deserve a chance, a chance at decent and affordable housing, health care, a good paying job, excellent education systems for our kids, a healthy climate for all of us, and a progressive way of governing. I would be honored to earn your vote in the state's primary on September 6th and again in the general election on November 8th. My sincere thanks to the Somerville Media Center for providing this opportunity to speak with you today, and thanks to all of you for listening. To learn more about our campaign or to tell me what matters most to you, 
text or call me at 617-863-2118 or check out my website, jasonmackey.org. Thank you.